Today I will talk about goiter. Definition. The term goiter is defined as thyroid enlargement caused by compensatory hyperplasia and hypertrophy of the follicular epithelium in response to thyroid hormone deficiency. The end result of this hyperplasia is generally a euthyroid state. In contrast to thyrotoxicosis occurring in diffuse toxic goiter or Graves' disease, though at some stages there may be hypo or hyperthyroidism. Two morphologic forms of goiter are distinguished. 1. Diffuse goiter, simple non-toxic goiter or colloid goiter. 2. Nodular goiter, multinodular goiter or adenomatous goiter. Pathogenesis of goiter. The pathogenetic mechanisms of both forms of goiter can be considered together since nodular goiter is generally regarded as the end stage of long-standing simple goiter. The fundamental defect is deficient production of thyroid hormones due to various etiologic factors described below. But most common is dietary lack of iodine. Deficient thyroid hormone production causes excessive TSH stimulation, which leads to hyperplasia of follicular epithelium, as well as formation of new thyroid follicles. Cyclical hyperplastic stage followed by involution stage completes the picture of simple goiter. Repeated and prolonged changes of hyperplasia result in continued growth of thyroid tissue while involuted areas undergo fibrosis, thus completing the picture of nodular goiter. Like this photo which shows the pathogenesis of simple and nodular goiter. Firstly, when dietary lack of iodine happens or goitrogens which are substances that disrupt the production of thyroid hormones by interfering with iodine uptake in the thyroid gland. All of this leads to deficient thyroid hormone production, causes excessive TSH stimulation, which leads to cyclical hyperplasia involution. Secondly, it can transform to diffuse goiter or after repeated hyperplasia involution. It can transform to nodular goiter finally, diffuse goiter or simple non-toxic goiter or colloid goiter. Definition. Diffuse goiter is the name given to diffuse enlargement of the thyroid gland, unaccompanied by hyperthyroidism. Most cases are in a state of euthyroid though they may have passed through preceding stage of hypothyroidism due to inadequate supply of iodine. TSH levels are invariably elevated. In general, goiter is more common in females. Simple goiter often appears at puberty or in adolescence, following which it may either regress or may progress to nodular goiter etiology. Epidemiologically, goiter occurs in two forms. 1. Endemic goiter. 2. Non-endemic or sporadic goiter. 1. Endemic goiter. Prevalence of goiter in a geographic area in more than 10% of the population is termed endemic goiter. Such endemic areas are several high mountainous regions, far from the sea where iodine content of drinking water and food is low such as in the regions of the Himalayas and the Alps. Of late, however, the prevalence in these areas has declined, due to prophylactic use of iodized salt. Though most endemic goiters are caused by dietary lack of iodine, some cases occur due to goitrogens and genetic factors. Goitrogens are substances which interfere with the synthesis of thyroid hormones. 2. Sporadic, non-endemic, goiter is less common than the endemic variety. In most cases, the etiology of sporadic goiter is unknown. A number of causal influences have been attributed. These include the following. 1. Suboptimal iodine intake in conditions of increased demand as in puberty and pregnancy. 2. Genetic factors. 3. Dietary goitrogenies. 4. Hereditary defect in thyroid hormone synthesis and transport, dyshormonogenesis. 5. Inborn errors of iodine metabolism. Morphologic features. Histologically, two stages are distinguished. 1. Hyperplastic stage is the early stage and is characterized by tall columnar follicular epithelium showing papillary enfoldings and formation of small new follicles. 2. Involution stage generally follows hyperplastic stage. After variable period of time, this stage is characterized by large follicles distended by colloid and lined by flattened follicular epithelium.